In tonight's Healthier Me, the universal pink that takes over everything from advertisements to product packaging to NFL uniforms is all part of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Valley News Team's Danielle Barber explains that while awareness is important, it's even more important for people to take action. I felt a change, but I didn't know what it was, didn't bring it up to my doctors. Again, it was one of those that without the mammogram, because I have very dense, lumpy, bumpy breasts, it was difficult to feel. Linda Thorseth is a two-year breast cancer survivor. She's urging others to take action by getting checked. If you are diagnosed with breast cancer, the earlier it's diagnosed, the less treatment you have to go through. A big advocate for doing something is Dr. Shelby Terstrip, who says breast cancer should be a thought not just for the month of October, but year round. When we think about breast cancer risk, we think of things that we can help, so age and you know whether you're a female or a male. Um, but then there are also things that we can help, including you know being at ideal body weight, reducing your alcohol intake, uh, breastfeeding. So all of those things can help to reduce your risk. Understanding your breast cancer risk is another important preventative measure. That's why the Edith Sanford Breast Center is offering a personalized breast risk assessment which looks at things like medical history to determine your risk. Based on that risk, we will determine what type of imaging you need, when to start that imaging, and then other habits um, that we want to work on helping you change, and even sometimes using medications to help prevent breast cancer. Because self-breast exams aren't always reliable, Dr. Terstrip encourages women to get screened. For most women, it's age 40, but based on genetics and other factors, it could be as young as 30. And there are some people who will see um, nipple changes or nipple discharge, um, skin changes, or they'll feel a lump. But most people don't. Most people find it when they're asymptomatic through breast imaging. It is worth doing all the screening for those who are diagnosed. Researchers make changes monthly, yearly in the treatment. Um, so again, there's always hope, always hope. Danielle Barber, Valley News Live. Other ways to get involved in Breast Cancer Action Month? Donate to national or local organizations like the Roger Maris Cancer Center here in Fargo. We have the links on our website. Just head to valleynewslive.com and click on this story. Later in sports, high school football highlights as the final week of the regular season is underway. Beth has the highlights and scores from North Dakota and Minnesota. And new airline recommendations aim to help ease the pain that sometimes comes with a flight.